Greetings! Today I'm going to show you my little power supply that I've been using for a while uh, to power up all sorts of random things and it's been quite useful. Well, this came from eBay at one point some time ago and I built it, I didn't want to build a video but because there was nothing electronic. The whole module comes as one piece already pre-soldered. The only thing that I had to do was put this case together that was laser cut out of acrylic and uh, yeah it came as a set the module and the case and yeah it's been quite handy so what this does it will do 0 to 16 and a half volts on the output provided you've got a little bit more on the input i think the maximum you can do on the input is 23 volts um, but they recommend to do no more than 20 on the input and it will do up to 2 amps with peak current uh, 3 amps for a short for a limited amount of time um, but two amps it's supposed to be do, doing continuously and it's got that funny logo winners on the on the back I'm not sure what that is and it's the same thing on the display so let me switch it on and there it is powered up um, so we've got two terminals and I've, the cable this uh, didn't come with the kit that's just my cable I've connected I've got it with a plug that is plugged in right now to a 12 volt power power brick and that can easily allow me to go as far up as about 11 volts um, it needs about a volt volt and a half uh, above on the input uh, in in relation to what's um, what sort of voltage you're setting on the output and as you can see it's got this winner's logo and a battery symbol on the front I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, I've seen already a few things made by this winners people, um, and yeah, they they've been using the same or similar LCD uh, to it. They've got a custom LCD clearly, and yeah, it's it's quite nice, very readable, and it's one of those inverse LCDs where everything is dark and the active uh, active segments uh, actually switch off. Let's um, let's take it apart and we have a look uh, what's it made out of. This is what you get in the kit when you order it, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to put this together in a moment and I'll show you how to fit those things into the case. It's a bit of a puzzle, uh, but it's quite easy to put together. And here is the board close up, and that's the main chip over here. I had to bend over the LCD over to uh, get to it, but. Um, it is a STM8S003K3, uh, which is very low budget budget line uh, from STM of a microcontroller. That's what's driving the LCD. They haven't even uh, in this. It's so simple. It's they've not even used all the pins on the micro. There's quite a lot of them that are sitting untouched, actually on it. But okay. And to the left we've got a little voltage regulator um, and the button to decrease the set voltage. Uh, yeah, there are some passives. Here we've got a huge, I think that's a SS54, I think that's a shot key diode. Yep, that's a shot key. Um, 0.55 volts forward voltage on this one and uh, at one amp current and here below the next to the diode we've got mp2307dn which is a back converter um, that has got integrated mosfets with it and that's a really nice solution because over here as you can see there aren't any mosfets and aren't any big switching transistors and that's because everything's integrated into um, into this chip so that's uh, that's what does the switching here you can see quite a lot of stitching happening uh, in this area because this area uh, around the diode and that I see this is what's going to be producing the most of um, of the heat and the IC has got a, a copper plane underneath it and that probably is stitched up in many places as well yeah it actually is you can see it is visible on the back side it's stitched all the way underneath um, underneath the chip uh, to the ground plane to help dissipate the heat because this is what's going to get hot uh, the most out of everything and we've got a 
6.8 micro henry inductor and LM358 op amp. So a jelly bean pot doing some um, op ampy thing, comparing something. Here is a 0.1 ohm uh, resistor. That's a shunt resistor. This is where they. Oh yeah, so that's uh, that goes directly into op amp. So that's your. Uh, this is basically uh, measuring the current. Uh, there's your current sense resistor, and that goes into the op amp. And from op amp, it probably goes to uh, ADC uh, on the uh, STM micro. And that's all there is about this. Very simple module. Uh, nicely made actually there's nothing wrong with the soldering on here and here are all the micro vias on the back there is no more active components on the back there is nothing uh, nothing there uh, we've got the logo and here is the that's the area where the back uh, back con controller chip is sitting and you can see right underneath it it's all stitched up and that all goes to big massive ground plane so that's how they are dissipating the heat from it and that's all there is to it um, in terms of build um, they've nicely put on a silk screen um, V out and V in and ground and whatnot so if you ever forget which ones what you just look at the bottom the case is see-through so you can clearly remember uh, which pin is what so that's nice now to put it all together let me show you a trick right so if you try to do it like I did in a, on the first instance where you start with the bottom build everything up put this on here and whatnot this will be absolutely a nightmare because then you've got to put those uh, buttons on here and align everything with the buttons it's just really hard to do it what you're supposed to do with this I think or at least it seems a lot easier uh, to start from the top and First what you do is you put the buttons in, then you put the module on this upside down so it aligns with the buttons and holes, like so. When you have that, put the sides in. Put the top in. And the bottom, make sure uh, you've got the holes in the right place. If you put it upside down, you won't be able to connect anything uh, to it. And when you've got it like this, now it should be straightforward to stick this on. There you go, that's done. So the only thing left is to put the screw in and they will self tap into the star shaped holes quite, quite nicely. And there it is, that's all there is to it. Um, really nice module I think, comes quite handy actually. Uh, during, uh, during times where I've blown my main power supply and I'm waiting for parts to repair it um, You can power a few small things with this the only thing is you'll make the most of it if you've got About 20 volt power supply the best thing for that would be is a uh, old laptop uh, Brick laptop power supply those are usually 19 volts You can just connect this to the output and there you go variable power supply the only thing it doesn't do is current limiting so it will show you what current it's putting out, but it will not limit the current, which is a bit of a drawback, but I guess it's cheap and simple. This costs about four pounds on eBay. Now the only th thing I've added to this uh, for while I'm using it is those here, and that's just a piece of wire with uh, a loop on the end. And I keep those connected permanently to the output, uh, which makes it very easy to connect crocodile clips cables uh, onto this and then connect uh, whatever you need and there you go that's the winners a little power supply thing DC back converter hope you enjoyed this little video um, and give me a like if you did 
and subscribe for more random electronics related stuff for today that's it so thank you very much for watching and take care